when you're very depressed, you feel unlovable, but also you don't give love out. So it's really difficult, you know, for John. Well, your husband was, John's with us here, actually, yeah. in the audience. Hi, John. And he really had to deal with so much. And I have to be honest, I think if it were the other way around, I love him madly, but I don't think I'd be very good well, at dealing with no, it. No, and a lot of people, it does split them up, doesn't it? Because they can't deal with it. Yeah. And so it's easier for them yeah. to walk away because they feel yeah. helpless. I mean, yeah. did you ever have times like that, John, where you thought, I, I can't help her? Yes. Yeah, all, all, often. But I think the thing is as well, it's like Beverly said, the, you have to keep talking. And the more you talk, I can't cure it, but I can be there and I can mm. shield maybe mm -hmm. but no <laughs> i think once you realize you can't cure it but you do get better yeah and you stop trying to cure it yeah but see it's interesting you say you can't cure it i mean if if it were a physical illness god yep. forbid that you had then as 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 your support networks your friends and family whatever you would accept that the doctors would deal with that and you would just be there doing yeah. what you could but when it's a mental illness it almost seems like there's a as a friend you want to try and fix it Absolutely. and it's like accepting mm -hmm. that you can't fix yeah. it and, and it's a work in progress as well I is think more clear cut yeah i think it's a work in progress and i think what happens is as you begin to get better and you come out of that black hole then you can monitor yourself more and the people who love you the most can help monitor you and they recognise the signs. And even though Colleen said she sort of didn't know what to say, she was just there. Yeah, and yeah. having people just there mm. is fantastic so and take, that's what you need. Take us back to when you first realised that you were depressed and you had anxiety and that. When was that? Well, to be honest, I knew I wasn't functioning as me yeah uh, but it went on for about 18 months and I just thought you know I know I'm not as vibrant I lost loads of confidence and I felt at work especially because I have to wear those tight Sexy clothes outfits, which yeah. are not the greatest she's not the best dressed woman in the world I felt really self-conscious much more than I did normally and my confidence was just going and that went on for about 18 months and then one day we'd finished filming and I just collapsed at work yes. and uh, they took me it that happened about eight o'clock at night and they took me into hospital about two o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and how long were you in hospital for uh, about 10 12 weeks so a long oh, time yeah, yeah. And th that's the thing as well, because my husband suffers from like a little bit of depression and anxiety, and my son has suffered from it in the past, and you don't know what to say. You know, like we're not no. trained and we don't know what to say. But what I've found that helps with them most of the time is by distracting them. Don't remind them that they're depressed and they're anxious all the time. You don't say, oh, how are you today? You yeah. Know, like you just talk about How did you learn yeah. that, Linda? Um, just by looking up on the internet and, you know, and buying it. What's the times, though? that you found it frustrating where you want oh, to go oh. oh honestly it's just like because you really you you can't help them you can be there for them but we haven't got a cure for it you know it's, yeah it's really at the and end it's of the hard day. to understand john went to night school for two years to do a counseling course just to try and understand, understand yeah. yeah and did that help john do you think you understand now yeah i think um yeah of course it helped but yeah. uh again we always look for this yeah. Instant fix, and there isn't right. one. But, and you, but you do get better. That's John's the main saying thing. in life is adapt and overcome. And we actually have. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Is, is which is good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. Adapt and overcome. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.